Welcome back. Today we will discuss on tips and tricks on MS Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet developed by Microsoft for Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. It features calculation or computation capabilities, graphing tools, pivot tables and so on. Benefits of MS Excel includes best way to store data, perform calculations, tools for data analysis, data visualization with charts, transform and clean data. Let us get started. To switch to Excel full screen mode, press Ctrl plus Shift plus F1. To select all contents of workbook, press Ctrl plus A. If you press Ctrl plus A for second time, it will select the entire workbook. Or you can click here to select entire workbook. To enter the current date in a cell, press Ctrl plus semicolon. To enter the current time in a cell, press Ctrl plus Shift plus colon. Shortcut key to insert a row or column is Ctrl plus Shift plus equal dot. To delete row or column, Ctrl plus hyphen. Shortcut key to hide a row is Ctrl plus 9. Shortcut key to hide a column is Ctrl plus 0. To edit a cell, simply press F2. When any input value starts with 0, Excel by default deletes the 0. This problem can be easily solved by adding a single quote, mark ahead of the first 0. Freeze the row and column headings, so they are always viewable when you scroll around. To do so, place the cursor in the top left cell, where the actual data starts. Go to View menu and simply select Freeze Panes and Freeze Panes. Now, the heading is viewable, wherever you scroll. Interchange row and columns called as transpose the Excel data. To achieve this, first, select the range that you want to transpose. Then, you will find the copy option on the Home tab in the Excel ribbon, or right-clicking the entire range. Next, select a new location, where you want to paste the transposed data. Click on Paste Special. Find this option by navigating to the Home tab clipboard section Paste Paste Special. This option is also available, when you right-click on the cell, where you want to paste. Then, the Paste Special dialog box appears. Now, click on All and select the Transpose option on the bottom right. This step is the most crucial as we want the data to be transposed. Finally, click on OK. The transposed data is successfully pasted to the new location. Now, let us make the Excel dataset as a table. For that, select the Data Home format as Table Select the Style. Now, you can automatically filter data, as per your need. Also, we had a custom filter option available. We can include notes to a cell by pressing Shift plus F2. Also, if you want to delete the note, right-click cell and delete note. Formatting of column or row can be done by right-click and Format Cells option. I am going to make this column as currency field. This option is also available in Home, Format, Format Cells. We are creating a chart for this data. Press Alt plus F1 to display chart data. Quick analysis of data can be done using Ctrl plus Q, format options, various charts, calculation like average, total and all, can be done by quick analysis.
To get the workbook statistics, press Ctrl plus Shift plus G. It will give details on tables, formulas, cells with data and all. To do calculation of column, based on another one for multiple records, select the column, with the formula to be applied, and hit enter. Here, calculation of allowance is 5% of salary, which is getting calculated for all records at one go. Filling a series can be done, by dragging it downwards. But if the series is too big, practically it's difficult to drag it. So we can go to option fill, series, columns, enter value for stop value. Now it's filled automatically. If we need to compare two Excel workbook, instead of shifting between two, we can conveniently compare in one screen. Go to View, Arrange All, click on Option Vertical and press OK. This way you can compare data in two Excel workbooks. Please note, both Excel should be opened in System to compare. We will see, how to create a dropdown for a questionnaire in Excel. For that, we will input options in separate worksheet. Select the cell, where you need to, place the dropdown. Go to Data, Data Validation, Settings, Select List, Provide the Source. Here, just select the value cells, and click on OK. Now, you can see dropdown is placed successfully, and can able to select the option. If it's an yes or no dropdown, it's still easy. In this case, in source option, we will include the options of dropdown. Let us check how to insert checkbox in Excel. Go to home, right click and click on customize the ribbon. At the right side, select the developer in main tabs. Now you can see developer menu. Now, click on Developer, Insert, Form Controls, and select Checkbox. Now, place it in the required cell. You can make alignment, by right-clicking the checkbox.